Hello and thank you for watching today in Spore. I will be moving from the tribal stage into civilization. No tribal tactics that I've established. Uh, tribal tactics have established my earliest cultural trait. So basically, I played a friendly tribe. So it's going to lead to certain characteristics in the civilization stage. So far, I've been a carnivore as a cell, a social creature, friendly tribe. And this, I believe, makes me a religious civilization. I say we build a town hall. They all agree. Very good of you. Very good of you. I like it when my tribe agrees with me. Now, instead of actually building one, I am going to go into the database, or whatever you'd call it here, and pick one. I've already picked one out. I looked through here a little while ago. And let's see, it starts with an R. There's so many nice ones that people have built. They're pretty awesome. Uh, instead of going into them and showing them off, though, I'm just going to pick this puppy out here. So I go in to edit it, basically, and then I just confirm. And it picks it up. Now, of course, I didn't build this. This is by Endeavor. A-N-D-E-A-V-O-R, I believe. And he's made quite a few good buildings. Really awesome buildings. Just like there's certain spore artists or whatnot that have made good vehicles for the subs or planes or helicopters. The um, different spore artists that do really good vehicle, or excuse me, buildings. So, no, he's just telling them we're going to be a religious civilization and saying that we need a religious vehicle and that guy wants a high and they don't like that idea I'd be okay with it I would say all right high sounds good but they're gonna be a religious civilization so that lets you build religious vehicles at your um, your capital city there it basically works out to be a smiley face I like the smiley face Okay, entering civilization stage. Now you build a car, but again, instead of building a car, I'm just going to go into here and pick one out. Again, I think I've already decided. I can find it. I like this. Holy of holiest holy gold car. So I like that. Let's pick that one out. There. Oh, shoot. Where's undo? Get undo. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Again, I didn't build that, so I'm not going to try to rebuild it. Just undo my mistake there. So I'm going to try to play this as quickly as I can to get as much done in uh, this episode as I can. And again, uh, as with the tribal stage, you kind of want to not so much know what you're doing as just get going on it right off. You don't want to linger and um, be all confused, just start right into building things and sending your car, your vehicles out. And, uh, this first point in the game where the Spice Geysers actually come into play. So, uh, the more Spice Geysers that you're in control of, the more revenue your city will have. So that's why you want to take control of them as quickly as you can. And um, soon other, well, it says basically my species is taking, you know, the lead and it's the most uh, dominant, you know, of the whole planet. But soon uh, other cities with start to enter the city stage also. So I won't be the only fawn. Uh, same with the uh, progress bar down here. And I'm pretty sure it's based on cities that you either take over or destroy. And that advances you through. Right mouse camera. The right right left buttons, mouse, duh, whatever. Okay. Arrow keys, pan the camera. I gotta hit all of them. There we go. Okay, and plus and minus are zooming. I I did. Hello. Hello, there we go. Oh, whatever. Um I don't know. Why? We gotta zoom all the way in? Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, and then I click on the vehicle, and that starts the stage. 
when they're showing me this Weiss Geyser, like I said, first part of the game where they really come into play, other than basically decoration. So, here's the goal, as with other stages in the game. And we take over a geyser, like that. Now I'm gonna go into the city again. A few more things that you can build. First off, I'm gonna change his clothes. I've left this the same for a while now. And when you get to this point, it's purely aesthetic. There's no real purpose to it other than just to make your characters look the way you want them to. And like I said, I already took a look in here, so I know more or less what I want. So, here we go. Oh, get on his head. And this represents the hat that Mithra, the god from mythology, wore. It's a Persian-style cap. I can't remember the exact name. But that's why I'm. That's why I'm gonna pick it. It basically looks like a wizard's hat. Um, lower it just a little bit. Rotation. There we go. And I think I have a chest plate that I want to put on him. Let's see. Uh, there we go. I know it's not in the right place. Don't worry, I'll fix it. There we go. Up here. Side view. Okay, move around, Let's see how it works. Maybe I gotta move it up just a hair. What's that? Oh, well, I like it to fit you, right? You gotta tell me how it fits. You like it? Okay, good enough. Yeah, and there's a lot of other things. I mean, we have. Uh, shoulder pads, and I like this gear. I don't really care for this, it's kind of silly. Steam stack or something, but it's ridiculous. Uh, you could do hair. Little, uh, colonial wig or something. A, a ribbon, and different masks or helmets. Hats, okay. Well, I, I like this, it's good enough. That's what I'm going for. Yeah, you like that. So you're gonna, so you're gonna dress, and you can pick music. Um, I know there's a way uh, you can make your own, but you can also import them. There's some way to do that. Uh, little decorations. I think these are purely for decoration. It might actually increase the happiness of your uh, people. I'm not sure. And again, with the vehicle, I'm gonna go into the database here and I have one picked out this one here made by Maxis makers of the game I mean if I saw this in real life I might be scared at first but that's pretty awesome I, I really like that one so that's gonna be my religious sea vehicle well you pick out houses that you will use um, you could make them but again go to the Part here, sort by creator, because I'm gonna stick with Endeavor, uh, his buildings, kind of as the style here it is. This is basically like the town hall. I mean, this is the house, but it looks like my town hall that I picked out. Um, next, entertainment. Let's see if he has a building for entertainment that will match much the others. Got some cool looking ones. Um, not sure if I see it. It's supposed to be like a little castle-y looking thing with trees, I would think, if it matches the others. Fairy tale shrine, I kinda like that. This might be the one. I would bet that's actually the one that it is. That goes with this like set or whatever. Yeah, that looks a lot like the rest. So we'll keep that. And one last is the factory. Again, to the database. Sort by creator so I can find it easy. And it's the open workshops, I think. No, no, no. no. That might be it. This one, peaceful workshops. Okay, that's kind of my style for buildings. I like them. 
Now in past games when I've played, I've, you know, outside of a Let's Play, I've done this. Um, on my own building, my own building, and, and that sort of thing, but... In this... In this Let's Play, I'm going to... Use, uh, pre-built buildings. Save some time, and... They're really good, I mean, I can't do much better than what some of these people have built. They just look that good. So I think the blue is spice production. So put another house in here, increase the production. Um, but like with the frowny face thing is where the people aren't, um, aren't happy. They're becoming unhappy or something. But we've got one geyser. Grab him. Get him sent after another. Let's get him on this one. Hopefully I can get enough. Oh, we have another tribe becoming a city. Oh, kind of a cool building that they've picked. Very nice. Now, try to ally with them or be hostile. They're friendly with me right now. I'm not going to really get worried. Of, okay, I didn't need to do that. I don't need to worry about them too too soon, I think. Here, don't go all the way over there. Just get this one. Need to increase our revenue. There we go. Another one. Um, yeah, I know. You can click them over here to get them faster. Um, that works pretty well. Okay, this one here. Let's get that. So another city, this yellow one, has been founded. Now this one's military. You can tell from the crossed swords. The purple one next to me is uh, mm, mm, commercial or like trading, trading city. I don't know how to say it. Hopefully I can. Another city just got founded. It gives me a little message. But basically, you want to take over as many guys as quickly as you can. And you will have the other cities um, start trying to take them from you, but you still want to you still want to get in there and try to um, try to get them um, before they do. Saves you time having to try to take it from them, basically. Um, there's this car. Where's he? Did I double click on him? What is it? Shoot, I wanna know where it is. Now this is out of any of them the stage that I probably usually have the most uh, trouble with actually. It just it can be pretty challenging. Especially if one of the other cities starts doing well enough to um, you know, take off, take over a, another city other than their starting city. Uh, they start bringing in a, more revenue, and it just get out of hand really quickly. And usually, you don't want to get in too much into micromanaging, like getting in real close and protecting a single vehicle, because you lose sight of the the greater picture of what's going on. Um, you can lose sight of it pretty quickly, and like I said, things can get out of hand. So I try to, you know, get get those spice geysers right away and we'll see this yellow one is already down here after that um, now at war because I tried to take over this spice geyser from uh, red but that's okay if I, I got it okay let's see get him want to be able to so where is he okay so good he's coming in to get that get that thing there a little TV car this ship whatever it is so hopefully he can get that this guy's not trying to defend it or stop me or anything but like I said I'm already at war with red so where it can get a bit icy. Hold two cars. And let's see, where's all my people? Okay. 
get all the cars in one place. Start, start in after that city. They already hate me. I'm not gonna really lose out too much by fighting them. Um, you really don't want to like send a single vehicle in and then have to keep um, sending one at a time. Uh, they'll take them out just as quick as you send them. So you want to have like kind of an overwhelming number advantage if you can uh, to basically send in everybody at once and hope that works. Now this is supposed to actually um, give my sh yeah vehicles in vulnerability. Um, from what I can tell, they're still taking them. I mean, uh, this it's being right protecting them. I hope that's enough. Enough to help. I'm not sure. Let's see, build one ship. Okay, what's up? I think I'm under attack. I'm under attack! Okay, so... Let's go back to our city where we're being attacked. And then I just... I see them right up here. So I'll just put a turret in on that side. One should be enough for now. It's not that bad of an attack, really. Um... Do you have another house, maybe? Increase production. And uh, every factory you add will kind of make your people more unhappy, and basically every entertainment center makes them more happy. Um, a simple explanation of how it works. No, don't bother with him. He'll be gone soon anyway. Yellow is getting a hold of Spice Geysers quickly. I don't like that. I really don't like yellow. Okay. Convert that city. Yellow's doing too good. I don't like it. Ah, he can't reach me from there. Let's see if they'll attack where they're supposed to. I don't think they can get me with that. Getting in too close though. Get him. Might actually have a chance against yellow this. Not going too badly. Can't make any more vehicles yet. Where's. Okay, there's my spice number, so that's not. Got a fair number. Fair amount, rather. Fair amount of spice coming in, so let's put down another factory. Hopefully, increase production. that geyser hopefully will cut down on their ability to um, okay so it's telling me that yellow's taken over more than one city I think um, 
Yeah. No. Well, that's what it's supposed to. Okay, blue and green. Yeah, blue and green. And that's that's not so bad. That's okay because they're not even on the same continent as me. They're over on a different continent, so shouldn't have to worry too much about it. And now, how many um, ships you're able to? Um, ships and vehicles, you know, everything, uh, airplanes, ships, vehicles, you're able to put out there is based on your population at the time. So, uh, you increase your number of houses or that sort of thing, you can start building more vehicles. Alive. Save them. Okay. I think I got them. Maybe. Okay, get those ships in there. Oh, I don't have a happy enough city, I think. Since they're getting unhappy. Let's see, entertainment. Get one line. Darn. Wherever I put it, I only get one. I think that's the best place. At least get one. And then maybe a house. There's two lines in this. Okay, it's happy. Apparently. And maybe a turret because it looks like it's under attack from the um seaside. Get him. Yeah, okay, get him. We're getting back at him. What's that beeping? Okay, this person wants to start trade with me and I definitely I'm definitely okay by that. Beeping. I don't know what it is, but I can't do much about it. Get that. Get yellow. Get yellow. I'm well, bringing in a pretty large revenue. Maybe I just got to keep building. Uh, another factory. That's not gonna. Shoot. Oh, there we go. Um, I don't know. Maybe another house then. More population means more um, vehicles. So that's, that's a good thing. Where is the beeping? Oh, convert an opposing city. I'm trying. I'm trying. Oh, stop the beep. Don't know where that's coming from. Am I even close to getting this thing? I really hope so. Halfway. Ah, here's my other ship. Coming in to save the day. Get him. Convert that city already. Why? Who is beeping? This thing? These ships that are damaged? They're getting destroyed, they're not damaged. Not much I can do about that. But if you move them into the dock, like here, yeah, they start... Yeah, he starts getting their health back or whatever, but... Shoot, it's usually not worth it to try to maneuver them around that much. To actually get them back to heal.
building military ships over here. Okay, need a fleet. That thing's almost repaired. Shoot, is that I'm under attack? Is that why the beeping? I didn't... No, I don't see anything here. I'm doing fine. Move another car. Make it two. Get another Spice Geyser if I can. Well, it's not even worth it. Where's, where's my ships coming in at? They're not here. And you know, getting close to them. Come on. Be protected. Invulnerability. Get him. Get him. Okay, I wish that beeping would stop. I don't know what it's causing it though. Can't stop it. Did yellow yellow took over another city, didn't they? Yeah. Whatever. Okay, you too. Get that thing. Good. Okay. This one shouldn't have quite the defenses of the one I'm going after. It may, it may convert faster. I'm hoping. Oh. Probably should just go after this one now. So close. Got good spice production. I should just keep going on building vehicles as quickly as I can, I think. Happy with me. Let's get this. Oh, that's mine. They're getting it. <laughs> okay. This one. That's the one I need. And again, all of my ships are destroyed. Tons of cash though to build them. Maybe I should try to get my population out even higher. Green. Yeah, that's a good place. Just my fleet. Let's get that fleet back over by the military city here. Oh, blue is coming in. That's not good. Coming in from that other continent after me. Shoot, and they're already... They got it. I don't want to start a war with them when I'm still fighting yellow. This yellow only city because I have someone right next to it. Well, I'm not being attacked. Get protection. Is that protector and vulnerability? Well, this is gonna be a half an hour episode. I hope that you've enjoyed it so far. Um, again, the start of the civilization stage. Not doing too bad. If I can get this yellow, yellow has one more on the continent, and purple is really friendly towards me, so I don't got to worry about them. So, not a bad start. I still got to worry about, looks like blue and green on the other continent. Not going to start anything with either of them until I can get yellow in its place. Otherwise, I'll be inviting way too much trouble all at once. Um, really need to just keep pumping out the, um, the vehicle. That's a, that's a, this might actually do uh, yellow in with that many.
coming at them with these the point that they're at right now. I should have them pretty soon. See if that invulnerability will... Nope. Invulnerability came in a little bit too late. Thanks again for watching. Uh, many more to come to finish up this stage and then move on to the next one. And until next time, everyone, take